Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick video. I am uh, doing my, or beginning my project for uh, Rockwell Design Crafts. I'm using her Coffee and Tea Lovers Mini Junk Journal Kit. And I am incorporating some other bits into it just because there's, um, there's only a couple prints in the actual pages. And it's gorgeous as it is, the, um, as you're going to see in the signatures that I have put together, it's going to make a gorgeous journal. But it is a little bit limited in that it doesn't have a ton of background kinds of papers. So I am improvising. Um, what we're going to be actually doing on camera today is this little envelope folio. I did also pull from her, um, I'm sorry, Vinted, uh, this is uh, Book Lovers, I believe, but I will link both of them in the uh, supply list um, over on my blog and um, in the description box, I believe. So, but this is what we're going to be working on today. But I wanted to show you the signatures as well. So I am going to be creating this journal using an HP Insta Ink box that I've recycled. Love using them. They're super sturdy. I'll probably be doing most of this off camera just because um, time is a factor. And um, I, you, if you guys want to see how I put signatures in or how I do a cover, you can check out another video. But I do want to show you the signatures that I have picked. These are not in any kind of order. I do um, always allow one inch per signature. So that's why the spine, why I'm using this box, because the spine is two inches. Um, and it makes a great journal. So here are the pages in um, signature one. I haven't folded them all yet, but I've got a vintage uh, magazine page. This is a um, this is from the inside cover of a vintage Heidi book, and I thought it was just so fun that I decided to use that. I've got, and this is where I pulled from another kit. So this is from my porch prints, um, coffee lovers, I believe the. Um, TN version. What's what are the what's that short for? I've never done one before. Ah, what's <laughs> I don't know what it's short for. I am blanking right now. But it, this is from their kit, her kit rather. So, goodness gracious. And then this one as well is from that kit. But it's going to make a great complement to the papers that are in Jackie's kit. This is a um, coffee dyed in ink, acrylic ink dyed uh, little baggie that I just folded here. Um, to put into the into the journal so we're going to be using that this is from my stash this is uh, a, a copy of that mixed media paper that i did on camera for you guys so i'm going to use that i thought it looked really coffee -y, <laughs> really deep and rich so we're going to use that these are pages from the kit are isn't this gorgeous look at the accent on that i just absolutely adore these um, these edges so it's going to make a beautiful journal and I did print on the back with my with um, another digital digital kit uh, coffee dyed paper so doing that and then I've got I picked one of the um, this is another page from the kit that's just this kind of a creamy color um, background for a page and then I also also did the coffee dye on the back and then one more page of that one so that is signature number one and so let me show you signature number two. It's a little bit different, not a lot. This is a piece of rice paper, just white rice paper. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought it would be something different. It's almost has a feel like fabric, which is kind of nice. And then this is another page from the kit from My Porch Prints, as well as this one. So we've got this uh, beautiful um, kind of pink uh, tones here, a just throwing a little bit of color and contrast in there. This is um, this is a vintage book page from that Heidi book that I was talking about, where I got that other piece of paper. So I'm going to make a page out of that with a, just a little pocket. This is another page from my mixed media paper uh, collection that I did the video on. This is just a copy of it, and then it's got um, coffee dyed paper on the back. And then as well as the, uh, similar to the other signature, we have one of the cream color pages for one of the pages and then two of, uh, oh, I guess one of these. I thought there was two. And then this is a piece of, um, this is, uh, this was a jelly print using alcohol inks absolutely phenomenal project. If you guys want to check out that video, it's on my channel. 
Um, it was, it, I loved it. I, I love jelly printing, but I loved the alcohol inks. They were just so sweet. Look at that. Look at the texture and the interest on that. And then um, after I did this, when I did one of my batch of coffee dyeing papers, I actually coffee dyed it as well. So that's why it's got more of a kind of a grungier um, brownish tone in these areas here. So we're going to be inserting that into the, into the journal as well. It's going to be super fun. So those are the two signatures. So what we have here is an envelope journal. So I've already pre-cut all of my paper other than I did not pre-cut these because I like to just slap a piece of paper on there, glue it on, and then trim it off because it's just really kind of tricky to measure that. The envelopes were too big for the journal because this journal needs to, or this is an insert that's going to go in to the journal and not a seat not it's not going to be stitched in so it needed to be the same height and it needed to be the same width approximately so that i had to cut down the envelopes both in height and in width um, which is not a big deal and that's the beauty of of just creating uh, you, you can improvise you can make things what you want them to be so um, I've written on the back of most of these, I believe, what they are. So this is going to, this is what I wanted to have be on the front cover. This is from Jackie's uh, shop. This is from the, um, the other kit. Ah, book, book, it's the book lovers ephemera, I believe. But again, that will be linked. I'm so sorry. My desk looked like a bomb went off, so I can't even dig for it at the moment. I've been cutting and trimming and preparing this project all morning. So, um, and so it's good. It's three envelopes, which will make more sense here as we go along. So I'm going to put these down. This is the back of the, um, envelope journal. So that's that. And then this is the front. Hopefully I will remember I did make a note on them. So hopefully it won't get too, too bad. I can get a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, crazy and mixed up at times. I've got ephemera that goes in, some of ephemera that's going to go in each of these as well, just to make it easy, easy peasy. This is some ephemera and a, and a belly band that I used. Again, this is from the Book Lovers um, kit, so that's that. And then this is the center, and I just cut out this um, desirable flavor characters of coffee. Um, so I'm going to use that as a pocket, and then I've got... Um, this is that from that other kit from my porch prints and then this is from the book lovers from uh, from Jackie's shop so um, and there will be a discount code um, that I will also provide to you guys for her shop so the first thing that we're gonna do is glue these envelopes together so as you can see they are open on both the top and the side because I had to trim both but it's not gonna be a problem because we can leave some things as pockets. But to start off with, we oh, sorry, let me back up. And I also did score it. So this is the natural fold right here. Um, this one here is the natural fold. I did another score line because I wanna make sure that this, can, this um, envelope journal can handle a little bit of bulk. So I did that on each of the envelopes. So that's that. So let's go ahead and I did that on each of these pieces just in case you're wondering. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this. I'm gonna use my large art glitter glue just because this is um, a bigger area to cover. Um, and it's easier to do it with, with the other one. So, and I will ink all this stuff up, the envelopes later. Um, it's not necessary until we put the papers on and get a little bit further on in the process. So that's gonna go like that. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm lining it up to that second score line, the one, the score line that I made, not the natural score line. So I'm just gonna press that. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna see if it looks like it's straight. So let me just see if I can fudge this a little bit. I was able to move it a bit. Uh, our glitter glue sets pretty quickly, so you gotta move fast. So there is that. So that's the first one in. And then I'm just going to fold that back up. I believe that I'm going to need to, I think I'm not going to leave these as pockets. I'm just going to go ahead and let, um, let's see. Um, I think when I put the papers on, I will leave them open at the top so that can be a tuck. So we won't need to preserve these bits for tucks. 
So ho hopefully that makes sense for you. So I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna put glue on this flap of the third envelope. And these are just envelopes I get from Hobby Lobby. I believe that they, in in, uh, in their uh, pure sense, they measure five inches by something. Um, so they were just slightly too, oh goodness, <laughs> slightly too, let me turn this over. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to turn it over because I will get all turned around. So I'm just gonna put this on here and then I'm just gonna fiddle with it here. If you guys have been watching me, you know I don't do backwards and turned around very well so that should be good it's not quite to that to that line but um, I don't I don't have the luxury of moving that anymore and it's gonna be fine so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a bead of glue in here just to secure that little that little edge there so I'm gonna put it on this part rather than on there there okay so oh one more okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera and I'm gonna go ahead and ink all of my bits because I don't like to do that and waste your guys's time so let me do that really quick and I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, so we're getting ready to be done with the inking. So I just thought I would explain why I'm doing this envelope journal right out of the gate. So because the journal, this, the spine on this journal is so big, it's not gonna take up, the two signatures are not gonna take up all this space. So you have room to insert things either in the front or in the back or in between the signatures. So that's, I'm probably gonna do it in the middle. Um, I'll probably um, put my holes here. I'll do a, a signature, I mean a pamphlet stitch, and I'll probably bring those holes over here and then over here, and then in the middle will be the place for this um, envelope journal to sit. So let's go ahead and start. So this was inside right so I think that was this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, try to figure out a way that I can um, do this. I think I have to do my, sorry, let me explain what I'm trying to do so that you don't get confused. I want to put a thumb notch here, but I want to be able to put a thumb notch in part of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead, but I don't want it to be a thumb notch here, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to squeeze that in right here. Uh, I have to do that before I glue, otherwise I won't be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on each of these as I go along. So I'm just gonna get my thumb notch in here. I'm just gonna I spy the distance from side to side. And then I will have to ink that again. There we go. So let's go ahead and start gluing, guys.
So let's go ahead and do our belly bands. I really did not want them to be side by side, but I didn't think that through, did I? That's okay. Maybe we could put one on the back. So this is going to fold like this. So we're only gonna actually have one back portion. So not all of these are gonna be, oh, except it could go here. Oh, it could go here. Maybe we will do our other belly band here instead. So where's my paper for this one? Um, is this one? <laughs> yeah, let's just, we're going to improvise, you guys, and just make this work. All my pieces are cut the same size, so they're all interchangeable. It's not a big deal. And I'm using just these two prints um, as my basis, so pretty easy to track. So let's go ahead and put this here and put one of our belly bands on here so that those are, are broken up somewhat. So now we don't have to worry about that, those envelope bits on the inside. So we're free and clear for this, this side anyway. disregard all my notes on the back of these apparently I am <laughs> I'm just gonna smooth that out just make sure there's nothing oozing out that's gonna be holding on to anything that's beautiful so let's put our belly band on here I almost want to put a little bit of lace let me see if I can grab something easily here guys changing my mind on you a little bit that's okay I just feel like I want something more um, behind her for some reason I'm not not sure um, I'm not sure what do you guys think I think yes I think yes I think we're gonna put that on there right like that so I'm gonna get my fabric tack out really quick and I need to just give it a quick second to fall or go down to the tip there so let's go ahead and um, just do a rough trim on this I just need that that edge to be mostly the secure part Hi guys, apparently my video stopped running. I'm not sure why. I probably hit the mouse again, which happens uh, has happened more times than I care to admit. So I'm not sure where it cut off. I'm gonna move the mouse now so I don't accidentally do that again. Um, so I will, um, when I um, link the clips together, I'll put some text in to explain what was going on. I'm so sorry. Don't like it when that happens. <laughs> frustrating. I probably hit it though, annoy me. I, in my new setup with my new Mac, I can't, uh, I, everything operates with my mouse now. I can't just reach up and touch my computer to pause it or whatever. So I'm, I always have a mouse on my, on my desk. So, and I, I forget sometimes to move it out of my reach. So there's our pocket. Love it, love it. And then inside that pocket is going to go, um, oh, that journal card, look at that. Oh man, I'm bummed about that. I didn't notice that until now. That, see, that this is the, um, I printed this coffee dye paper on the back. And if I cut it off, I'm gonna be cutting off part of this. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna ink it up and just pretend that it was intentional. 
So my apologies. Can't even hardly tell, can you? Beautiful. And so that's gonna slide in there. Nice little journal card. And then we've got a tag. And I think I'm just gonna put a little piece of lace on the top of this tag and then call it good. Uh, just for this little envelope journal. It doesn't have to be uh, super fancy or anything. So completely missed this grouping of stuff to ink. So yikes. Just gonna, oh, there's some lace right here we could use. Perfect. I love envelope journals because they are, they're so fast and it, once you do them and you pre prep properly for them, they're, they're pretty fun. I've had a rough go at them because I just have a really hard time um, thinking about things in reverse and, you know, just my brain doesn't work that way. So I have a hard time keeping things straight when I turn them around or, or things like that. So I can't remember which one was what. Let's just use this one. No, I think it was this one. <clears throat> I'm just going to put a little piece of lace here just to create kind of a pull on the top of this. I'll probably get a button. I like that one right there because it looks like coffee. It likes, looks like caramel. Caramel macchiato. Yay. So let's go ahead and glue this other side first and then we'll put the button on. This is one of my favorite things to do uh, for a tag topper is just a little bit of lace and a button. Because generally tags are sticking out of things, so you can kind of get away with that a little bit. I'm just gonna get my paper towel and push that down. There we go. I'm gonna put a button right there. Oh, isn't that sweet? I love it. Sweet and simple. I'm just gonna put that directly on there. Like so. Okay. Oops, stay down. That's your new home. Stay there. We're gonna not gonna put that one in that pocket right now because it's wet. So I will have to come back, guys, off camera and and um, I'll decorate this a little bit and then I will put uh, I'll create something for the pocket. I didn't plan on that being a pocket, so um, and then. These ones are not pockets either, are they? Yes, they are pockets. Are they pockets? You know what, I'm not gonna make that a pocket. Let me glue that up. Let me glue that up. I don't need that one to be a pocket. I don't want this to get too bulky. Um, is this one a pocket? I think this was intended to be a pocket, so I will probably, yep. It's not very open though. What did I do? I probably glued it all wrong, guys. I'm just going to glue it up. <laughs> my project. I can change my mind, right? So we just have the one pocket. We've got plenty of tucks on here. I'm not concerned about it. Um, I do want to kind of round this edge uh, here because I cut off one side of this. And so I'm hoping that I can round that so it looks a little bit more. Oh, perfect. That worked great. Uh, so that it's more uniform. So now let's turn her over. We already have one panel here and this was supposed to be the back. So let me see how this is going to fold up. So that's the front and that's the back. What's supposed to be on the front, Renee? This is supposed to be on. Oh my goodness. Did I do this all wrong? I'm missing something here. Um, okay, this is supposed to be the front. I know that. So let's go ahead and do what we know, right? So it's going to actually be the middle panel on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this. I am going to leave this as a pocket, I think. Um, yeah, let's, let's make it a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and do a thumb notch here. 
Again, just eye spying side to side, trying to get it as even as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect. That kind of looks cool, different. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on just the three sides. So I'm gonna glue this side, this, and this. <clears throat> I'm hoping that's better than clear as mud. Sometimes. Not so clear. This is a fantastic kit though. Um, I, it's not probably something that I would have chosen, but I think that the beauty of having lots of creators out there is you can go outside of your comfort zone and pick things that you would not normally, you would not normally do. And, um, and this is not something I would have normally picked, but I picked it from her shop, which said it spoke to me. So, and I'm not liking that fact. Um, that right there not at all so I might stick something in there where's the scraps from I might stick a if I've got a piece of that paper I might stick it back in there um, that divot that I cut out because I'm not caring for that but um, that's okay so now we're gonna go ahead and put the journaling card on as well I just want her to be the front because she's so pretty so it's not gonna be a pocket so I'm gonna go ahead and glue all around all of these edges. I think what I did with those pockets when I did the inside is I didn't, I glued them in the wrong places. I told you I get, I get really discombobulated with the envelopes, so. But as I've said in other tutorial, or other, not tutorials, because I'm not teaching you much, <laughs> other uh, videos, craft with me kinds of things, I am gonna keep trying because I love the process and I love the result. So eventually um, it will be fine and it'll be beautiful. So that's a little bit crooked. Oh well, oh well. We're just gonna line that up to that notch up there so that it's pretty straight like so. That is our front, so she's going to be right, right on the front there, like so. And boy, that's really crooked. There we go. So now we need to create a piece. We need to put this piece on, and then we need to create a piece to cover this part. So let's go ahead and put this on the back. I know that's where this is supposed to go. Oh, and isn't that lovely? Oh, I love it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna close it. Probably just with a piece of sari silk. I'm just gonna ink that really quick. <clears throat> okay, so what are we missing? And we have another piece to cover here. So let's see what else we have here. We've got a piece of that and we've got this, but I haven't used this yet, so I don't really yeah, but I haven't used, really used that either, have I? Oh, I did use it on the tag. Let's stick, stick this tag in here. So 
So that's going to st stick up there just a bit, which is okay. But I like things sticking out of my journal. And since this is going to go in the journal, that is okay with me. Let me see if I have, I wish I had another piece of that coffee one, but it doesn't look like I do. So let's see what I have over here. Oh, that's the signature. I don't want to grab from that. Goodness gracious. Let's go ahead and just use this. Try not to waste paper, right? That's not long enough though. Is that? Ooh, it's not. How is that? How is that possible? It is not long enough. Is this long enough? It is not long enough. Okay. Well, we have we have a dilemma. Let me see what I've got over here. I've got this piece as well. It's not represented either in the kit or in the project right now, but I think that's good. this will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So, again, our glitter glue on the whole panel, or this flap rather, the envelope flap. And just thinking about the direction, it would be a shame if I put this upside down, right? It's been known to happen. Ooh, ink first. There we go. Let's push that down. It's a nice added dimension. Since these papers are going to be in the kit, I mean in the journal, it's probably good to go ahead and use them here just so that they're, we're introducing them here. So guys, anything that I didn't finish on this, I will do off camera and you will be able to see it in the photos at the end it, and over on my blog. Um, a list of all the supplies I used will be, um, because I'm doing a design team project, I will provide the links in the video description. I normally only put those over on my blog, but I will put them in both places uh, for this purpose. So um, the coupon code and the links to Rockwell Design, Rockwell Design Crafts, uh, the coupon code and the link to the Etsy shop will be in the video description. So you could go check, check her out. Um, she's coming out with some amazing stuff. I, um, I picked my kits for, um, for February and I am so excited. They're a grungy background with numbers and other patterns and stuff. They're going to be really epic. So I'm looking forward to that. So here is our envelope journal. Again, you'll be able to see the pictures at the end where I decorate everything up, finish it up, and um, and then you'll be able to see what it looks like. So thank you guys so much for coming and watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.